In this vid I will be doing an explanation of the ESC, the options of the transmitter for the Traxxas TRX4. Now if you're going to be running a LiPo battery, which I am, you're going to want your ESC in the low voltage cutoff. What that does is that helps prevent the battery from over discharging, etc. It's just safe for your model. You don't want the thing to catch on fire. So the way you do that, you have to have your transmitter on, your battery connected. You will hold down the easy set button until you see the light. Now, in this case, I already have the green light on. That's for the low voltage cutoff. That's what you want with the LiPo. Now, I'll show you how to change it if you're going to be running a nickel metal hydrate battery. You hold down this easy set button, hold it down for 10 seconds. You'll hear the motor beep three times. Light will turn red, and then you let go. There you go. You let go of the button, you got the red light. That's what you want to see if you're running a nickel metal hydrate battery. Now, just to put it back into low voltage, the green light, all you do, same thing. Hold down easy set button for 10 seconds. Same thing. There you go, you let go. Uh, that's what you're going to want to see. LiPo, green light, nickel metal hydrate, red light. Now I will show you how to adjust your ESC for the different modes that this model has. It has five different modes. There's a sport mode, race mode, training mode, trail, and crawl. Now what you do, I'm going to power it off. Same thing, transmitter on. Hold down this button until you get the green light. You get the red light. Hold the button down and then now you'll see one blink. That's for sport mode, two blanks for race, three blanks for training, four blanks for trail. Now I want crawl mode, so when I see the five blinking lights, you let go of the button after that, and now it will be the ESC is set for the crawl mode. Pretty cool feature. Now here's something else I do like. You can change your transmission from low to high, right from the transmitter. Here's your servo to change the transmission, so when you move, this toggle, that's how you change it from low to high, right from the transmitter. Awesome feature. Now here's something else I like about this thing. This is something I'm probably most impressed with. This toggle switch on the top of the transmitter. These are the servos to change your differentials. So with the toggle switch all the way to the back, all your differentials are unlocked. You go to the middle, front differential is locked. All the way forward, front and rear diffs are locked. That is a cool feature. Now I recommend don't uh, change those with the model moving. Just my opinion, I think it'll tear up your gears. I would wait till uh, the model is completely stopped. Uh, this model also has cruise control, believe it or not. So the way you get the cruise control set, uh, as you already have the model moving, you're pulling back on the throttle, the model is moving, you will hold down the set button for a couple seconds and then let go, and then let go your throttle. The vehicle will be in cruise control mode and you adjust the speed from this knob right here on the forward. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, uh, and all you have to do to turn off the cruise control is just tap the throttle in reverse. That's how you turn it off, so pretty cool. I don't really know how or why I would use that, but I probably will. Kinda cool to have cruise control on it, so yeah, there you go. All the different options, how to set your ESC, etc. Set your diffs, real cool model. So thanks for watching this. Uh, come on back if uh, you have any questions, and also come on back just to see what mods and changes. What I'm looking to do is uh, see if I can get this thing to outperform my SCX-10 II as a rock crawler. This is a great trail truck though. I gotta hand it to Traxxas. Uh, good job on this. This thing is actually pretty sweet right out of the box. So thanks for watching. Come on back and uh, have a good one.